Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again and in today's video, I've got you six random but very interesting Power BI tricks. Now, I use these tricks very often in my Power BI work and they are pretty intuitive to me. They give me a lot of value and I thought these will be good value add to you as well. Now, just to kind of organize this particular video, uh, these two tricks, I'm going to categorize them in two categories. One is the assortment of columns. That's like organization of your measures and columns and things like that. The second trick is going to be about formatting. All right, no further ado, you and me, six random tricks in Power BI, let's go. All right, trick number one, collapsing all the tables together. Take a look, in this particular Power BI model, I have many tables right here and all of the tables are expanded. If I want to collapse a table, I will have to click on the header of the table and the table collapses. If I want to open it up, I can just click back on the header. But what if I wanted to collapse all the tables together? What I can do is a simple trick. I can close the fields, I can open up the fields once again, and all the tables are now collapsed. All right, people, assortment trick number two. You can see that in this particular model, I have scattered all my measures into multiple tables. So sales table has got a few measures and the budgets table has got a few measures. Maybe there are a few measures in the products in the calendar table as well. Now, maybe I would like to place all the measures into a measures table. Now, of course, you can do that through the data modeling tab and you can click on the measure and then select the other measure, select the other measure and then drag those measures into the measures table. But the problem is, however, you're going to select multiple measures by clicking on the measure one by one. And if you have like 100 measures, those are 100 clicks for you. Let me save you 100 clicks in case there are 100 measures in your model. What you do is you select the sales table, click on the ellipses right here, and then you say that, hey, I'd like to select all the measures. When you click that, it's going to select all the measures in just one go, and then you can move them to any table that you'd like. Awesome. All right, trick number three. I'm sure you're already aware that in Power BI, you can place your measures inside of a folder to organize all the measures properly. Pretty cool. Now let's just say that I created two folders, sales calculation and budget calculation. And I believe that one of the measure in the sales table, which is nothing but total sales, also fits right well in the budgets, budgets calculation folder. So I would want that measure to appear in two folders, not just one. One measure, but appearing in two different folders, the same measure. So I don't really have to replicate the measure. I just have to make it appear in two different folders. How do I do that? I just go select the measure. I just go over to the display folder and I put a semicolon, not a comma, a semicolon, and then I write the name of the other folder. So which is my budget, calc, and the spelling is right, press enter. And now magically that particular total sales measure is now also appearing in that other folder. Awesome. All right, moving on to formatting tricks and trick number four. And I absolutely love this particular trick because this allows me to convert any particular visual into a simple table temporarily. How do I do that? Now you could just pick up any visual on your canvas, a map, a line chart, a bar chart, any visual, and then just select that visual and use the shortcut Alt Shift F11 to convert that visual into a table format at the bottom. And you can take a look at the very numbers that are creating that line, a map. This is especially very, very helpful if you are reading a map or any cluttered visual, you don't really have a lot of space to take a look at that visual in detail and you can convert that visual temporarily into a table format. And if you just actually click on back to the report, you are back at your visual once again. Now, I'm not really sure that if this particular technique works on custom visuals in Power BI or not, because I haven't really tried this technique on custom visuals. Try it out and let me know this, if this works with custom visuals. That will be a big help to everybody watching this. Moving on to the next trick. Trick number five, short and simple, but highly useful. Now I happen to use the keyboard a lot to be able to position my visuals on the screen rather than actually compared to using the mouse. So if you actually use the keyboard, I just select the visual, of course, using the mouse. And then if I just start to move this visual around using the arrow keys, the visual actually nudges by a small pixel to the right or to the, to the left or whatever direction. Now, if I want the visual to move fast from one position to the other, I just have to wait until eternity till the visual goes to the corner of the screen. How can I make it move fast? With the arrow keys, just use the shift key. So you'll now use shift and the arrow keys to move the visual. And you can now see that the visual actually moves pretty fast as compared to the one previous one. And this speeds up the entire process. All right, my final and the sixth trick on formatting. Now I have seen people doing this with the mouse and I just don't like it that way. If I want to align these three charts to the left hand side, although the mouse is pretty intuitive now and it kind of gives you these guidelines to help you guide 
the map or any particular object to the left of anything or to the right of anything it snaps you can see that if I just move it right here it snaps and it snaps again but is there a way that we can actually do it using the built-in way so I can select all of the visuals on the screen uh, right now I'm just gonna press Control a because there are just three visuals on the screen and I'm gonna go over to the format tab in the format I'm just gonna click on align and I'll say align left now this is better because it doesn't really require your mouse to drag and drop the visual to the corners of the screen to be able to align it and you definitely get more accuracy as compared to doing it manually with the mouse Another thing is that there are a lot of alignment options. The other one that I really like is distributing any particular object horizontally or vertically. Take a look. Now, let's just say that there are three charts again. Maybe I would like to arrange these three charts and I also want these three charts to be horizontally distributed. What do I mean? The distance between the three charts need to be the same in a horizontal way. Pretty simple. So I select the three charts and I go over to the format. First, I will align them to the bottom right here then I will say distribute horizontally because I would need to make the vertical distance equal and that's it it's done now this would have been difficult to do it with the mouse although Power BI has this pretty intuitive feature that you can snap it and it gives you the indications but I feel this is a lot more exact way of aligning something in Power BI let me know what you think all right those were my six tricks on Power BI let me know what you think about them if you have any questions around this, please feel free to drop in a comment. And if you do have a nifty trick in Power BI, please do not hesitate to share that in the comments. I'll be looking forward to it. In the end, a big shout out about my DAX and my Power Query courses. In case you are starting out with Power BI and you'd like to learn DAX right from scratch, build up your fundamentals first, and then proceed on to solving more challenging problems, I'd highly encourage you to take a look at my courses and it's going to be highly beneficial. Thanks so much for sticking around and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bye.